After the Christmas decorations were all put away, I was replacing my home with my daily decor. And I just wasn't feeling it. It was a little too dark and heavy, and I wanted this space to be light and bright. So we're gonna freshen up this space by giving it a little bit of a transformation. We're gonna start with this fireplace wall. I'm going to start off with changing the oil painting that was there for a mirror. I love decorating with mirrors. They are timeless, they are classy, and they also reflect light back into the room. The shape of this mirror is so on trend right now. I have seen them all over Pinterest, all over the internet. However, if you wanna buy one, you're gonna to have to pay for it because they can get really expensive. So I was thinking, how could I find one that's affordable? And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna hit up my local thrift store and so that's what I did. They had a huge variety of mirrors there. I rummaged through and I came across this gorgeous mirror and it only cost $15, yes. Now, the brown color, it definitely needed to be changed and I knew that, but the shape was perfect. The transformation started with a good washing. I scrubbed it and got all the dust and debris off of it and then I dried it completely. I got out some butcher paper. I'm going to cover up the mirror with this butcher paper. Now there's a teeny little spot in between where the frame is and where the mirror is and I could tuck that butcher paper right in between that space. It's a much better option to use the butcher paper because I know it's underneath every single part of that frame as opposed to say blue painter's tape because I don't know about you, but sometimes I put that stuff on and it's uneven and then I'll actually get like a line. So the butcher paper worked wonders. I did use the blue painter's tape to adhere all of the pieces of butcher paper together. Once everything was thoroughly covered and protected, it's time to paint it. I'm using this Rust-Oleum Gold Metallic Spray Paint. I love this spray paint. It is a perfect shade of gold. I use it all the time. And you can buy it at Walmart or at Lowe's or Home Depot. I began to spray the paint on the frame. I did a light coat around all the sides of the mirror. I let the first coat dry for about 30 minutes. And then I did the second coat. I repeated this process. And one way to make sure that you get a good even finish is to stand about one to two feet away from the piece and to move the paint constantly, to move that spray paint, to move it around constantly so it evenly adheres to the frame. Once it was completely saturated in the paint, I let it dry for an hour. Then I simply removed the butcher paper and the painter's tape and it revealed a brand new refreshed mirror. I hung it above my mantle right here and I love the way that it reflects so much light back into the room. It also reflects a brand new chandelier that I had hung up just a couple days ago. I love this thing, it is beautiful. And the mirror reflects the light from the chandelier. And I will be telling you more about the chandelier in some upcoming videos. I am excited to show you the rest of this room refresh. We're gonna be doing some more DIYs, so make sure that you come back and stay tuned for those. Working with mirrors, especially in darker rooms or smaller confined spaces, is a great design element to add because again, it reflects, it makes it feel larger, and it also is a timeless, elegant piece that doesn't go out of style. And for $15 plus a can of spray paint, I was able to transform this mirror into something remarkable. I've had this iron fireplace screen for probably about 10 years now, and it too needs a refresh. It has some gorgeous scroll detailing on it and some really pretty elements, but you couldn't really see them because it was monochromatic. I'm going to brighten up this screen and make these iron details pop by using that same Rust-Oleum spray paint that we used on my mirror up above. The first step is to give it a good washing and then I let it dry completely. Now, instead of using the butcher paper on this screen, I'm going to use copy paper because there's no way that I'd be able to tuck in all that butcher paper in here 
for the copy paper, since it comes in smaller pieces, I could just slide that right underneath the scroll work. And then I secured all the pieces of the copy paper together with some blue painter's tape. Then I took my firefly screen outside and I did a light coat of the gold spray paint on the surface of the fireplace screen. I make sure that I got the sides, the bottom, and the top. Once I was finished with my first coat, I let it dry for about 20 minutes. Then I came back and I did the second coat. I repeated the process, making sure that I got the paint into all those little nooks and crannies, and then I let it dry completely, which took about an hour. Now it's time for the gratifying part. We're gonna remove all of that copy paper and see what we have. I pulled the paper out from underneath all of the scroll work and the detailing really pops now. It's so much lighter and brighter and looks much more expensive than it did before. The only cost that went into this project was a can of spray paint. And I didn't even use the whole thing. So let's say three fourths of a can of spray paint. So a couple of bucks. And look at how fantastic this fireplace screen looks now. It's amazing how a simple color change can completely transform a piece. These two feather arrangements have been on my mantle for some time now. I love the way they look. However, a lighter colored floral arrangement will brighten up the space and make it feel fresher. The inspiration for this floral arrangement came from this floral arrangement that we did a couple of weeks back. If you remember, we did a display on my breakfast table. I made two ginger jars and in the center was this beautiful floral arrangement. It had this glass container with the gold accent. I was shopping at at home stores and I came across this beautiful glass container with the same gold accent. And I thought, how perfect would that be to have a coordinating one over here on my mantle? Plus it was larger, so it would be able to accommodate a much bigger arrangement. The cost of this container was $30, which is definitely going to be the most expensive project out of all three of these. However, I think that it's a classy piece I will definitely be able to use again, so I didn't mind paying the money. They also had some really pretty artificial flowers there. They were a little more expensive, but they did have some affordable options as well. To begin my arrangement, I'm going to use the tape grid method. I love using this because it cuts down on the floral foam and the cost of flowers because they're so much more compacted and bunched together. I'm going to get my clear tape. I'm going to make a grid. I simply take my tape and span the gap of the container. I prefer to use the grid method because it cuts down on the cost of floral foam. You don't need that. Plus it's really easy to make the arrangement. And in this instance, I wanted to see through the clear container and not worry about looking at the floral foam. I chose a light, bright color palette for my floral arrangement. I got some white magnolia stems from at home. I kept them bunched up and simply bent the stems and placed them in between the holes on my tape grid. Again, by bending these stems, you're going to be able to use them again. You're not doing anything permanent to them, so if you decide to use them again for another project, you pull them out, unbend the stem, and they are as good as new. I also placed several other varieties of white flowers. My contrasting colors are gold and green. I found these stems, I don't even know what they're called. I like them, they look like artichokes to me, and they were only $2.99 at at home store, so that was an affordable stem and I put one on either end of my arrangement. And then also, here is a money saving tip. You can use filler flowers from the Dollar Tree. Now, filler flowers are flowers that just support the beautiful starring flowers. These are my main attraction, but the Dollar Tree flowers make it look full and lush and just kind of add that extra oomph that the flower arrangement needs in order to look big and beefy. Now these stems of leaves that I put along the bottom, they're from Michaels as well as the magnolia leaves. Now around the bottom, I like to do something called breaking the vase. If you're not really 
breaking the vase or the container. What it means is that I'm going to waterfall these flowers over the lip of the container, which softens that harsh edge and makes it look more natural. And finally, I place those gold magnolia leaves sporadically throughout the arrangement. If you were to purchase this floral arrangement at a department store or at a boutique, it would run you in the couple of hundreds of dollar range. I created mine for an affordable price, plus I will be able to use every single thing that I put in this flower arrangement again. To complete this fireplace wall transformation, I'm going to add some tall candlesticks that I got several years ago at Tuesday morning. They're going to flank either side of my flower arrangement. These candlesticks is just what this mantle needed to complete the light, bright fireplace wall transformation. Here is a picture of this fireplace wall before the transformation. And here's what it looks like now. I think it looks modern and up to date and perfect for spring and summer. All three of these DIYs were so easy that anyone at any skill level would be able to do these. All I did was use some paint and it transformed it drastically. And the flower arrangement, so easy. And you can customize it to your specific taste and design style. I'm going to be transforming this entire room. So I've got some fun projects coming up. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out. And then also I post some sneak peeks and some behind the scenes on my Instagram stories. So come find me over there and you can see the things that are happening before you can see them on YouTube. Well, I hope you enjoyed decorating and transforming this fireplace wall with me today. And I hope you got some inspiration. Thank you so much for watching.